Hello, this is Spellbinder with this very shocking story. This is from back in uh, July 2nd of 2010. And it's by Arlen Williams. And it's called Back to Basics. It's a website. The article name is uh, Golf in Mexico intended to be an allergy farm? Startling indeed. Yes, maybe they deliberately had the catastrophe in the golf so they could start this allergy farm. There's money to be made. Trillions of dollars. And here it is. Allergy biofuel after your latest prayer for God's solution to the golf catastrophe. Please get comfortable in your chair and purse this. You may wish to read this more than once and to read the link documentation. The least you think. Joanne and her friends are nutty. I have spoken with her, for example, and asked her if she believes uh, the Deepwater Horizon gusher was started intentionally. And what did she say? I don't know. Do you? The I.O. does not suggest that the grand plan is to make one vast allergy farm of the Gulf of Mexico, but mega manipulators, mega racketeers, and mega exploiters must be watched as the dead zone gets ever bigger in the Gulf. From Joanne Moore, some emphasis and formatting by I.O. Startling Revelations more going on in the Gulf of Mexico than an oil spill. The team is at it again. In the course of our investigation into the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, we have uncovered some startling information. What I'm about to tell you will knock you out of your seat. There is a lot more going on in the Gulf of Mexico than the oil spill. This administration and many other entities like BP, CIDA, NALCO, GM, GE, Goldman Sachs, University of Chicago, holding companies along with Department of Defense, billionaires, and politicians are all vested in biofuels. Money to be made. What is going on in the Gulf is directly related to this new industry. There is an allergy these companies are interested in. From the mouth of the Mississippi River all along the Gulf Coast and spreading down to the Everglades is the prime area for growing this allergy. Christ is aware of this. He's funding it. There are a couple of other prime spots too. Chesapeake is one of the areas and the Great Lakes is another. Funny, we have already had a Great Lakes Czar and a Chesapeake Czar, and now we have a Gulf Czar too. As you know, the Gulf oil continues to flow in the Gulf. It looks incompetent when assessing the response to the crisis. It's not incompetence. It is intentional and willful destruction. They are spraying dispersants that are toxic to sea life. The dispersants hold the oil below the surface. Ask yourself, why would you want to do that? Wouldn't it be easier to vacuum the oil if it were floating? They are not letting foreign tankers in to help. Even the few barges Jindal got his hands on were stalled, citing they needed to be inspected to see if they are carrying enough life vest. They did. They even passed a buck as to who is in charge. BP t said they were in charge. Obama says he's in charge. The golf Coast Guard Admiral Talid Allen said he's in charge. They run us in circles to divert the real question. If you have noticed, most of their news conferences have very little to do with action response, instead focusing on claim processing. This is not incompetence. It is intentional strategy. They don't want to clean up or even try to contain it. What they are doing is in these steps. First, get rid of the oil industry in the Gulf then turn the golf into a dead zone. A dead zone is free of life and ability to sustain it. The oil dispersants and fertilizers deplete oxygen. It kills animals and fish, also turning their remains into fertilizer. Finally, use the golf as a giant allergy farm. Allergy grows on water surfaces, getting oxygen from the air, not water. Fertilizers like Europe supply much needed nitrogen. The Mississippi and other rivers that empty into the Gulf also pick up fertilizers from many farms along the way. This feeds the allergy at the mouth of the rivers. The oil in the water won't hurt the allergy. It will only promote its growth and burn factor. Allergy costs about $2 a barrel to refine. This is potentially very profitable. 
The downside is there isn't enough allergy to sustain the demand. It takes a lot of allergy to produce a single barrel. That means they need a huge place to grow and multiply the supply of the allergy. Right now, they don't have this enormous allergy farm location. They have the desire and technology to investments and companies all set up. They have even taken the steps to map out the plan. That plan involves projects in the Great Lakes, Chesapeake Bay, and the Gulf of Mexico. This oil spill, whether sabotage, negligence, accident, or design, is the perfect way to eliminate fossil fuels, such as oil, and to advance his biofuel agenda. <clears throat> they will sacrifice the Gulf and all who live in or around it for this multi-trillion dollar industry. This also ties in with carbon capture and exchange. You all know about the Chicago Carbon Exchange, cap and trade, and even Obama's support of Cato. And so I won't bore you with the history. For those who don't know the details on these bills and international climate agreements, please refer back to the post of mine of those of others who have researched and posted. There is a proposal to store carbon that has been captured by industries in the Gulf. The carbon will enhance the allergies growth while making a fortune for companies like Obama's Chicago Carbon Exchange. All the usual players as well as a few new ones are involved. There is everything from lies, deceit, government stealth to insider trading and international destruction going on. Or intentional destruction going on. My friend and research teammate has compiled a short summary. Please read this then I will pick up from there. This is it. Step by step. Chicago, the Gulf of Mexico. The lawsuit lists potential damage claims are about $2.5 billion to the Gulf fishing industries, $3 billion to tourism, $700 million to the remediation or, yeah, remediation's efforts so far, $6 million a day in continuing costs and incalculable damage to BP's reputation. We have all heard it said carbon is a bad thing for our environment. Where did all this junk science come from? Well, Al Gore, Muris, Maurice Strong, Barack Obama, Joe Rogers, Van Jones, Bill Clinton, John P P P uh, Podesta, Vike Kundra, Carl Pope. Need we go on? Here's the links to prove all that. So what is the motivation of eliminating carbon? Money. Consider it for a moment. How wealthy these people and countless others are getting by promoting this carbon offset science and forcing alternative biomass science and technology. Frankly, determining the wealth of these people is an angry task, yet how do these people profit from this forced change from oil to biofuels? Stimulus money. See, bombshell expose or expose, inside trading, government registration, corporate shakedowns. Let's examine some events and people. Okay, let's chat a moment about what's happened. What did the well explosion due to human error? Was it on purpose by a human? Was it the work of a military for higher groups like XE, Blackwater, Dynacorp, or Triple Canopy? We'll never really know, since SI, SAIC has full control. They know the answer, but in the end, does it really matter? The well exploded. Now the question is why? Destroyed big oil and American business and jobs? What will take its place? Aha! Glad you asked. Allergy. Who is behind this? Crime Incorporated, which, by the way, is much bigger than Beck is able to report, and for that matter, than we can report, but we are going to try. British Petroleum, one of the world's largest oil producers, BP, had the most safety violations, but why is that? Enter MMS, Minerals Management Services. MMS is an agency of the Department of Interior. MMS gave many waivers to BP for this Deepwater Horizon rig, not to mention a safety award. Why did MMS give the waiver to BP? Well, read these, read these uh, links. Enter SAIC. Okay, who was ahead of SAIC while this agenda was being drafted and put into action? Robert Gates, of course. You know, the guy that is now the Secretary of Defense. But what qualifies Gates for this job? Hmm, good question. But why is he really on the payroll? Gates has a resume that includes head of 
SAIC Council of Foreign Relations, CFR, and he served on the board of Parker Drilling, an American offshore rig owner with headquarters in Houston. Now, Parker Drilling has 75 international land rigs, 15 deep gas land rigs, 34 barge rigs, 7 platform rigs, 7 offshore jackup rigs. Parker is also a specialist in deep oil, Arctic and geothermal drilling. Gates, too, was the deputy director of the CIA who are members of SAIC. Hmm. Is there a corruption at SAIC? Thanks for asking. Here are some of the attached facts. MMS gave a 5.5 million contract to SAIC to conduct a five-year study of the Gulf Loop current, which is now stalled. Uh, SAIC awarded a 21.0 million blanket purchase agreement for biomass engineering coming from the Department of Energy and Golden Field Office. This was done to support the Office of Energy, Efficiency, and Renewable Energy Biomass Program. SAIC handles all technical, all technology for BP that includes security logs and surveillance data. Ever wonder about the video VIA closed circuit on offshore rigs? SAIC had uh, contracts with BP going back as far as 2002 to include a $750 million contract for global IT services. SAIC is an employee-owned company with 61 or $6.1 billion in revenue and has offices in 150 cities around the globe. The revenue comes from the national security, homeland defense, energy, environment, telecommunications, healthcare, and transportation. So, if not oil, then what do we put into our gas tank? Allergy. Even more, and see the link, even more federal action on this. Obama has awarded 80 billion or 80 million, they didn't say, in research grants for allergy and biomass fuels. The Pentagon has mandated that the Air Force be 50 50 in use of fossil fuels and biofuels by 2012. Hmm, certain add up. If cap and trade or any new name that attached to this junk legislation and life altering bill does not pass, understand it really doesn't matter except it would be cheaper for taxpayers in the end to pass the bill. What? You ask? Well, understand, Obama's having to look like a fool spending TARP and stimulus money to backdoor the biofuel allergy Euro agenda. He would look better if he did not have to spend this money, but rather force cap and trade to generate tax revenue. In other words, you're going to pay for their profit. Isn't that great? Don't you love them? Either way, taxpayers and, and just violate and scammed in the end. Amazing. Contract with BP has clawed the limit and the, and the Darko liability sources by Isabel Ordenez and of Dow Jones, Newswire, Houston's. The PLC BP contract operates a leaking Macondo well contains a clause that could limit the liability of minority partner and the DACO Petroleum Corp APC and the limited familiar with the agreement said. The contract with the person said is similar in other use of offshore drilling in which the operator assumes the cost of mistakes in the case of gross negligence. Anadarko, which owns 25% of the well, has seen its shares hit hard in the recent weeks, and as investors brace for a possibility that the Houston-based company could be on the hook for uh, proportional shares of the cost resulting from the leak in an amount that could reach tens of billions of dollars. A con confirmation in a joint agreement. BP could be liable for 100% of damages if growth negligence is proven, said Jacqueline Waver. A weaver who teaches energy law at the University of Houston Mall Center. I'm running out of time here real fast. But I'll have this up here and you can read the rest of this. I mean, DARPA Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, they are testing for production of refined allergy into jet fuel. DARPA expects to produce 50 million gallons by 2011. So who tells and pays DARPA? Yep, you guessed it, SAIC, the General and General Atomics. Let's go back to Gulf of Mexico. MSN is responsible for the offshore drilling leases. See how this is all working out. Now we know the real source of what's behind all this allergy stuff that they want to pass on to us. Well, just check this out. I thought I'd bring it to your attention. It's something that just amazes me how they're, they're scamming the people constantly now. I mean, it's one criminal act after another. Till next time, this is Spellbinder. Good day.